My name is Chris and I'm with Top Level Media and I'm here with Mr. John Glover. John Glover, you have been very successful in films and TV shows as well. Yes. And basically, I've got to ask you, what is your favorite TV show that you've ever played in yet? Oh, but let's see there, I've, had, I've been blessed with really wonderful roles, so I can't, I, I mean, I, I very, when I first came to LA uh, to, uh, to do, um, the, um, I, I was in a miniseries with Lee Remick, and we played very good friends, but I was always, I mean, Lee Remick was uh, something to me that I, I thought, I, will I be able to, to do that? Will be feel that way? But instantly she just opened herself, her heart up to me, and we became very, very good friends. So that's what popped into my mind first, I think because of this remarkable woman that I, that I got to know, or she let me get to know her. So right. it was quite a beautiful friendship we had. Right, what, did, what inspired you to start acting in the first place? I'm an only child. An only child? <laughs> I played with myself a lot when I was a little boy. <laughs> and that's not bad. Yes. So what did, what, how did you get into the role of Gremlins? How did you get signed on for doing Gremlins? John Kowalczyk. I went and auditioned John for Joe Dante. Kowalczyk. And then I got the offer. Right, right. How did you get the role for Smallville? John uh, somebody, uh, another actor dropped out at the last minute. So my agent called and said, you've been offered, uh, there's this uh, series they're doing about Clark Kent before he became Superman. Uh, it's called Smallville. And um, they want you to play in the, in the pilot, um, uh, Lex Luthor's father. And they might have you back, they said. So um, I said, sure. So the next day I flew to Vancouver and, um, and did my little scenes in the thing. And then they called to have me back, and I went back. And then they called me back again, but I didn't have a contract, and I was doing a play then, so I wasn't available. So they waited till I was, and that happened a couple of times. So the second season, because I guess they wanted me, they gave me a contract. Right. So that's how it happened. But it was somebody else backed out. Right. Lucky me, right? Right. Lucky, yeah. lucky you. Lucky you. And the writers were kind of listening to where I was taking Lionel, and they sort of followed heed, and, and, he, and he, we worked together to, to make him a real human being instead of just a, a villainous father. Right, because, I mean, honestly, the villainous father, he was pretty good, and everybody loved Lionel, fell in love with Lionel, too. Well, he was human, I think. That's what I was allowed to, to do. Right. So, there we go. Right. Other than Smallville, what else have you done, um, such as voiceovers or uh, film work? What else have I done? Yeah. Oh, tons of stuff. I've done a lot of stuff for DC. The DC. See, I wasn't a DC comic book kid. But uh, all these parts that I've done for D the Batman and Robin and the Riddler and the Batman animated series, um, um, Zam, uh, Smallville, they all just got offered me. So I didn't go audition for any of them. They just came my way, which I assume is the power of the universe. Right. Yeah, so Right. So I'm grateful. Yeah, for the, yeah, I mean, for those that are, you know, just starting to follow you and know your work and stuff like that, I mean, are you working on anything as well or right now or? I just was finished a play in New York, um, and then it became Christmas. So I'm hoping now that it's not Christmas anymore and everybody will be back in their jobs on Monday that soon I will get some offer somewhere to do some some man that wants something or has a sense of well anyway there we go right it's an actor's life right you never know right and now for every, one more question for every Smallville fan out there do you think that there ever will be a return of Smallville or some sort of reboot of Smallville or something to continue on with Smallville with like you and the cast in it? Well, I, I've, I've already been killed on Smallville three times, so I don't think that's going to happen. But I, I, you see, it's Smallville is about Clark Kent, 
before he becomes Superman. So I don't think we'll, I think that's it. Right, well, you know, there's always a chance of Smallville being called Smallville with Superman in it. You never know, you know. I don't think, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Right, yeah, yeah. right, right. But, but it's, it's nice to think about because we all had a grand time together. Okay. Yep. All right. And then where can everybody follow you, your social media and all that? Oh, uh, on the Instagram, it's uh, the John Glover. It, I mean, it sounds pretentious, but I went to, to do it, and there was already a John Glover, so I had to make it different. So that's why it's the John Glover. Okay. It's not because of any other reasons. <laughs> Thank you. It's been nice talking thank, to you. Thank you so much. Okay. All right.